prepare her body for more Dime Bag Dwelling, for Dime Bag TV. And I'm just going to talk about some of the disturbing things I've been seeing, images and stuff. Uh, with the center of the in this country going to see the movie Black Panther. Like, I understand, you know, you want to go see the movie, you know. Black superhero, my guess. Be nice if you could relate to to what's going on in this country with the sin of the slave. But uh, let me just talk about some of the things I've been seeing. You know, black people, why you got to wear African attire when you go see this movie? You know, for one, you look hideous. You know, that makes no sense. For two, the, the, the country that this character Black uh, Panther is from is from East Africa. Black people over here was brought from West Africa. And, you know, why do you gotta make a, a scene? Just go in there, wear your movie, I mean, see, you, uh, see the movie in Italy. Why you gotta dress up like you're from Africa? No way you just bought that, that little suit you got on or what that, that stupid looking, crazy looking hats. And so you got there from the Asian guy down the street. And it's, uh, I mean, it, I see one thing, brother was came in there with a plate of chicken. It's like, really, a plate of chicken. You know, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, a combination of willful ignorance and attention horn all mixed together. It looks foolish. You know, why can't black people mobilize like that? You know, and demand we get some some economic justice in this country. Why can't we do that? You know, why we gotta go, you know, they this is gonna make a shitload of money off the system of slaves in this country. But you're trying to get them same people to go and vote or, or hold a vote or demand something for it instead of just giving it to the Democratic Party. Fuck, man, we get some shit done. But nope. We go down there and get one of them crazy looking African hats, put that on, you know, go see some movie. And then, uh, going back home and continue to, you know, to live their life. And the next day, a lot of them going to be like, man, what's that $50 worth to want to see that movie? I can show you that shit. I don't get paid till Friday, and it's on Tuesday. So, well, they're going to be like, God, man, why you hate, man? No, I ain't hating. Just tell the truth. It's just amazing how they, they run out here to go see that movie. You know, you think they going to come and, and, and invest <clears throat> in our neighborhoods? Fuck no. And don't get me wrong, you know, I'm all for, you know, having black superheroes, you know, black supporting black film directors and stuff because there's some very talented brothers out there that can do this type of work and they get overlooked. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, you know, why can't we do that? Why can't we mobilize like this to get something to better our people? We the poorest people in this country. You know, I seen people, videos, people dancing and shit. You know, like, come on. Man. This makes no sense. And like I said, once again, they got on the uh, African attire. If you ask them what part of Africa did they come from, they couldn't tell you. They have no clue what they lineage is. But they'll go, you know, we want to see Black Panther as superhero. He from, he from Africa, we just him from Africa, and let's just do it. 
<sighs> I wonder how many people that went to go see that movie knew the name of that. That I guess wherever he was from, Rwanda, uh, whatever that country is he from in that movie. I wonder do they think that's an actual real place in Africa? Because it's not. <sighs> Man, science is fucking with me this morning. But yeah, when I, I just thought, you know, I just wonder. You know, why black people do this type of stuff, man, when, you know, if you want to go see the movie, don't see the movie, man. You, know, you don't have to put on the African attire, get up, you know, let people fucking wearing costumes, you know, and shit. The fuck is this? Black people make fucking, uh, that day fucking uh, extension of Halloween. Well, I mean, people went to Johnny Brock's. Bitch, if he would have known that shit, he would have had all kind of shit down there. Right? Got him made a shell of money. People been coming out and buying that shit. No little Asian dude did. You know, it's it's. I just wish that we could mobilize like this to get something to benefit our people. Especially economically. Like I said before, the center of the slaves in this country is the, the poorest people in this country. We got no money. And the black people do, the little bit black people got a sliver, a very thin amount of, of money. They, uh, them boomers, and they dying. So, you know, we need to. Uh, be nice if we can mobilize and demand something in return for our votes and stuff like people was black people was going out to see this movie. I can tell you that now. That's ridiculous. Forty percent of the slave like kids in this country go to bed hungry at night. Sorry about that. And we uh That money could have fed a bunch of kids. But, you know, instead they just want to go make Disney more money. But who am I? This is a black dude sitting here in the fucking chair. You know, talking in front of some cameras. And that's fine. But, um, I am aware of the economic situation that people that look like me is in this country. I know economic situations of people that don't look like me in this country. And I can see that it's a huge disparity. And when you go back and look at the laws that was enacted in this country, it was intentionally done that way. So, me personally, I'm not going to go see Black Panther. There's nothing against it. I'm not going to see no movie. I haven't been to the movies in fucking years. You know, so it'd be on Netflix, Hulu, you know, whatever, you know. Buy it for $2 off of fucking, off the Google and watch it. If, you know, it's not, not a really big deal. So, I ain't gonna really sit here and ramble too, too much longer. I don't even know why it made any sense on it, to be honest, go back and watch it. But I just, just people, you wanna go see the movie, man, you ain't gotta go. You do not have to go looking crazy like this, when it's all this African girl, but you don't even know what fucking part of Africa is from. You know, you ain't gotta go over there with a fucking plate. A chicken. and shit. You know, the whole movie is fictional. Dancing over a fictional goddamn movie because Black Panther, the character, is black. It's, it's an African. If this was a real life character, you guarantee if, if you ask him, you say, what's up? What's up, brother? He's going he to be like, I'm African. I know, but it's not gonna do it's not shit to do with you being a fucking descendant of slaves. Africans that come from that come to this country, 
they look down on the sin of the slave. But the majority of the people that went to go see that movie, they don't know that. So that's why you have people wanting, you know, going by these, what they call Dasiki, whatever that shit is, wearing all that crazy stuff, costumes and shit, dancing, fried chicken. You know, that's why, that's why they went and did this, because they don't know no that. They don't know. So, I ain't gonna sit here and ramble too much longer, man. It's just, you know, it'd be nice if we can mobilize as a people, like other ethnicities do in this country to get something. Because our people out here hurt. A lot of people in this country is hurting. But some people gonna get it and some people ain't. All I'm gonna say is enjoy your Sunday. I'm gonna go enjoy my Sunday the best I can. And peace. And I'm out.